Bill Cohen here, Cohen Art and Content, Mark Boydman, the Peter J. Solomon Company, which is, I, I don't think there's any doubt, you guys have become the premier investment banking firm in our industry. Well, thank you. Yes, we are uh, We're very focused on this industry. We see lots of growth potential, lots of companies potentially consolidating, and that's uh, very appealing to us. Mark is a um, new board member, Digital Signage Federation. Been around for a while. I'm going to ask you the key question of the day. Sure. What, if anything, have you gotten out of your membership at BSF in the last year? Sure. Well, for, for one, uh, as a networking opportunity, it's, it's terrific. And there is really no neutral third party who acts as, other than the DSF, who acts as um, in a go-between. You can make introductions, you can go to events and network without any, any feeling of being uncomfortable. So as investment bankers, we often facilitate introductions, but there's nothing like an organization that can set up networking events where people can get together, they can exchange ideas, exchange cards, uh, and really we feel there are lots of opportunities in this industry for not only consolidation, but partnerships where companies can work together and grow, and grow the industry. I see that. I see that Broadside's doing a lot of that right now, and of course, content companies like Saddle Ranch have been doing that. Um, I'm going to ask you, this whole investment bank, now you know I've gone through a lot of um, acquisitions, a few mergers, and now I've gotten rid of some parts of my companies. Um, but you know, I never really knew when I should be getting getting with an investment banker. When should the CEO of a growing company start working with an investment banking firm? That's a great question, and we. Of course, uh, a great question. I ask. It's it. a terrific question because what happens is most people don't really feel the need to engage with an investment banker until they're ready to either sell their company or make an acquisition. That's probably a little late. We like to come in earlier and understand your strategic priorities. We can help you think through next steps in the evolution of your company, especially if you're a growing company. You know, we can identify potential acquisition candidates. We can tell you how you should think about relative valuation, how you're valued. We can help you with your projections, to develop projections for your company. All, all these are very important steps that you need to take uh, as you ready the company for continued growth. So don't just come and get you when it's time to do it. Come and get you to help get prepared to do it. That's right. And we, we have, uh, at, at Peter J. Salma Company, we're a boutique investment bank, an independent bank. We have about 55 bankers. We're, we're very, very diligent and careful. We work with companies and we develop long-term relationships. So this isn't a rush where we come in, we want to execute a yeah. transaction and disappear. Uh, we want to develop a very long-term relationship. We want, to, we want to evolve through the life cycle of a company. You wouldn't know this, but the very first time I was ever involved with Peter J. Solomon Company, I think you were probably um, in a playground. Because I'm going to say it was more than 20 years ago. Wow. Yep. Peter's been, the firm is about 25 years old, so there Peter's been, there, yep. been doing this for a long time, and uh, he's really set up an institution that I think is first class. You know, um, what's going to happen is I'm going to get emails, and I'm going to try to deflect these to start with. They're going to ask me about what, how to contact you, what are you looking for, and how can I work with you. So we're going to put up the Peter J. Solomon Company information, website, etc., in the lower third. Um, but I'm going to put, well, I shouldn't say I'm going to put, I don't want to bombard you either, but can somebody write to you directly? Sure. Because look, he's a big shot there now, you know, <laughs> uh, got all of his own guys and everything. Uh, what would they, they can write to you directly and put your, your email address up? Sure, that's no problem. We, we're always happy to reach out to companies. Like I said, we want to get in early. We want to develop a relationship. Even if the company is too small and there's not an opportunity for us to work together, we still want to know that company. So that if some of our larger clients have interest and, and are looking for partners or for acquisitions, we can understand some of these other companies that might be too small. And frankly, if you're at the right size, we want to develop the relationship today, even if there's no immediate need for investment gotcha. banking. Um, one of the questions I've been asking is I'm trying to do a survey to help out the media buyers and media planners from all these companies. Uh, you're obviously you're in the information business, so you must be getting all of the newsletters and the the email newsletters. I don't know what to call them. The right thing to call them is there. 
one or more that you read on either a daily, weekly, monthly basis or not? Or do you just have your minions read this stuff and then send you their reports? How does this work? Well, I definitely read uh, the, the Wall Street Journal. Absolutely, that is the key. Of course. Uh, there's, there's another one that I really like. It's the Mobile Commerce Daily. It's great. What is it? It's Mobile Commerce Daily. Okay. Look, we are spending a lot of time in mobile and the, not, not just with respect to digital signage, but just generally. I mean, there, every media company and tech company we talked to today, there's some interaction with mobile and they're very focused on mobile and the future potential there. And we think the, the potential is, is ginormous. Yeah, and, you know, I, I, I love that you said that. Now, a little talking about my company. We're a content company. We, it doesn't matter for what screen. We're gonna, we produce feature films for the big theater screen. We produce documentaries we for, for, for television. Uh, we produce other television. We produce content for digital signing screens, of course. Uh, other place-based media, um, mobile, and, and the internet. And one thing we've learned, and, and it's getting to be a lot of fun now, is obviously you can't, you can't be one size fits all. I've got a different amount of time on a screen, on each different screen. In digital signage, I can't just do one spot for all digital signage because I have different dwell time with each one of these networks. But I still have to tell the same story. So I have to have that same string, that same right through all of those screens. That's the creative aspect of our business and that's what makes it fun for me. Mobile, these guys keep coming up with another new technology that makes it cooler for me to deliver content. It's almost like as soon as I finish a piece for a client or for one of our uh, uh, contracts, a new technology comes up, I can go back in production and do it again. Uh, I'm, I'm loving this whole mobile the, thing the, and the relationship between them. The newest technology is uh, image recognition. So if you have content and you're rolling out content with any form of content, somebody takes their mobile phone and takes a picture and scans it in, they can then be taken to a website, an e-commerce website, and actually see that item in their basket. They can they can learn more information. It can take them to a Google search portal. This yeah, is the, the future. Night, I, 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 I downloaded an app called um, Ivino or something like that where I take a picture of a bottle of wine and it identifies the wine and it gives me all the information. I can sound like I really know what I'm doing now. Hey, look at this wine. This has got all of this stuff going on. Sure, there's there's many different apps. There's an app called Pounce that you take a picture of something it will direct you to a, a website where you can purchase it. But Amazon is going to really just capitalize on uh, that. They're going to start delivering me by helicopter. What's going on? <laughs> look, um, we're going to put this stuff up so you can get a hold of our guys over here. And uh, think about getting getting started with this investment banking stuff now. DSF, I like what Mark had to say. Um, we are the uh, the um, go-betweens, the intros, the the networking place where there's no agenda other than helping everybody in our industry. We have no permanent board members. All of our board members are elected to two-year terms and they come from every aspect of the industry. So it's good stuff. I'm very pleased to be on the board. Thanks so much. Thank you, Mark. All right, we'll put the stuff up there. You'll see me in a few minutes. Thanks, bye-bye.